Hello and welcome to Go With The Heat. I'm Dominic. And I'm John. I'm Melissa. And this is your cultural guy. It's a phenomenon that was Miami Vice. This week we're talking about Season 5, Episode 18, titled Miracle Man. It originally premiered on June 21st, 1989. It is written by Robert Ward. Name should sound very familiar. Redemption in Blood, Asian Cut, Hard Knocks, even like three or four more others. On top of that, he still has one more coming. All good episodes. Mm-hmm. And co-written by Jillian Horvath, who this is the only episode they wrote for. Also wrote for Beverly Hills 90210. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> and Quantum Leap. Oh, <laughs> back in the news again. Hey, I don't care what Leap. you say. Quantum Leap was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> it is directed by Alan Meyerson, Bing! who also directed our episode last week in World of Trouble. So this is the only two that he got. He got cut out of NBC. Like, no. Yeah, no, you're Meyerson? not going to be there. <laughs> Absolutely not. Meyerson directed this one? Absolutely no. not. <laughs> USA was like, all right, bring them on over. <laughs> all right, John. Season five music has been up and down throughout the entire season. But you know what? I glanced at the music and I saw that we have someone new on here. So I'm really interested to see what you got on this one. Okay, guys. So I'm going to be honest with you. I've been doing this music segment for a while now. And at times, Vice has made it difficult on me having to research different things. They've thrown 19th century composers at me. They've thrown Western sitcom themes at me. Like, they've, they've given me very little to work with at times, including an episode that had no music. And I've been able to make it work. But ah, this week, we have the song Nande by La Familia Andre. And if Remember, La Familia Andre appear, also appeared in the episode The Big Thaw. Now, in that episode, it also featured, my music segment also featured uh, Marley. So I had someone to talk about. It didn't matter that La Familia Andre is a Dominican salsa band founded by Ferdinand Echevarria. Um, that the only bio that there is out there is written in Spanish. <laughs> So you had to get really creative and make up your own bio, <laughs> or you learned oh, Spanish. Yeah. In, oh, in yeah. the- no, oh no, and, and and it's only like two sentences, so <laughs> not, not a whole lot. I know he's on Twitter. I know that. <laughs> no, but seriously, the bio was only like two sentences, and I, I kept, I digged, I dug, I dug. Fernando Echeverria. He lived from 1953 to 2015. He had a career spanning 25 years. He was very popular in the Dominican Republic and South America. He won a bunch of awards that I've never heard of, including the Luna Award, recognizing him as the most in- influential inter- international artist in Colombian music over the past 20 years. Which is pretty impressive. So, but outside of that, I got nothing. I, 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 I don't know. I'm assuming La Familia Andre is a family. <laughs> <laughs> this is worse than the music because they actually gave me something a band that i already talked about and uh yeah with no bios not even like a facebook or there's your music guys <laughs> you know what john it's it's okay not all of them can be home runs sometimes in in the music segment you're handed a knuckleball picture <laughs> and, and the, you know, the I'll best tell thing you to this. do at knuckleballs is to not swing at them. <laughs> hey, I'll tell you this. The the next couple episodes, we're going to get some big ones. So it's going to get better. I can promise you. <laughs> Tune in next week when we get to talk about a very iconic band. It'll be fantastic. <laughs> so. All right. Well, let's go give our final thoughts on this. The second of the lost episodes. That's yeah. going to do it for us this week. We hope you enjoyed this episode of Go With The Heat. We would love to hear from you. Email us, gowiththeheat at gmail.com. Let us know what you think about this episode. In particular, I want to hear about could Vice have continued to exist without DJ and... Controversial. Ever James <laughs> almost. I feel like based on this episode, because they're not in there, and that this was still felt like Vice, but wasn't quite the same, they could have taken it and continued to go. We want to hear from you. Email us, gowiththeheat at gmail.com. 
Check out that website, GoWithTheHeat.com. You can find all the ways to support us, all the ways to subscribe. Just a reminder on that support. We'd love to see some notes from you. We have three episodes left of this amazing, the most amazing Miami Vice podcast that has ever existed. <laughs> so we would love to hear from you before this show ends. Uh, you know, love notes to be nice. Valentine's Day is coming up. You know, you can send us a love note. We won't turn any of them down. <laughs> what I'm saying is that if you're on Tinder and you've run across the <laughs> Go With The Heat podcast... <laughs> <laughs> Send those notes John's way. <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna do it for us this week. We hope you enjoyed this episode and we'll see y'all next time. Bye, pals. <laughs>